take you one before we start on that. Now, what I use, I have a little trick. I use business cards or any kind of thick card stock, and I like these. This is actually a, a Walmart tag off this sweater that I bought. <laughs> um, but it's, um, it's very smooth on the inside. because you can kind of curve it and get an angle to it that you can't get on um, these smoothers. Okay, because we want to get the bottom a little rounded. Give it a little... Quickly, because with your buttercream crust, um, it gets a little more difficult to work with and a little bit wrinkly from the ice cream. And then, and again, kind of cupping it like that, and then I go up and over to give it a more um, rounded shape. on the the, um, the bottom section here because you're going to have a um, little uh, extra decoration, shall we say. In case anybody's a little bit concerned about using this, I actually wipe them off with an alcohol wipe. Um, but honestly, it's no different than a cake cardboard um, or anything like that. I don't know why people get all up in arms about everything having to be designated food safe. Um, it's a paper product. Nobody's going to get sick from a, a business card or a shopping tag. All right. Okay, we've got the basic shape of the shop. over the, um, the shell, the beginning. You want um, a clean line and you want it to be built up. So a lot of icing throughout with your bag in those areas.
or get a new one. Usually I use business cards, um, and I just have a stack, and as soon as one gets too dirty to work with, I'll, I'll start discarding the other ones. Yeah. If you really don't like the idea of using your business cards, though, you can um, just use a piece of uh, cellophane to cut the up a little bit and then we're going to smooth it over um, and just kind of help a little bit of that. 